Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been like a year? Five years? A hundred years? I don't know. It's been a while since I've made content. I've been busy with work and, well, just been a little bit lazy too. But I've been drinking tonight. Adult beverages to be consumed responsibly. And I was like, what the heck? Let's just make a YouTube video. And what are we gonna do? We're gonna do GeoGuessr. And this is like one of the multiple times that I've tried to record this video, so bear with me. <laughs> the, the, the game keeps crashing and it is very disappointing. So what are we gonna do? We are going to get dropped into a random location and use our wits and our geography knowledge to get through Google Earth and figure out where the heck we are in the world in that map that's down at the bottom there the bottom corner of the screen so what am i going to do late on a tuesday night why i am going to celebrate the coming holidays in style with my best internet friends let me sure why not <laughs> trying to get the the poof the poof ball the poof, the, mm, never mind why, I'm gonna spend my Tuesday night with my best internet friends, strangers on YouTube, as we puzzle our way through the world. I'm a bit of a geography nerd, so I'm pretty decent at this game. Can't skip. Gotta figure out where we are. Let's just jump straight into this. And what do we see just off the bat? Oh, look at that! GeoGuessr is not responding. You guys can't see it because I've hidden the ads, but... Let's recover the web page. Oh, look at this! Windows is checking for a solution. Oh, I've, I have an unfinished game! How come it didn't do this the last time? I don't know. There's something, something highly suspect about this. So, you guys are gonna laugh, but I'm doing this in Internet Explorer because I have my other two web, br <laughs> web browsers open at the moment. I didn't want to be slowed down, but apparently Internet Explorer is a giant piece of crap. All right. The unfortunate thing is that I have no idea whether this is a right driving or left driving nation. Pardon me for a second. Yes. Okay. Let's move on up. So this architecture honestly looks kind of Commonwealth nations, kind of Kind of British. Oh, that's a car. That's a car. Ah, oh, we can figure it out if we just get close enough. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> yes, I wish to resume the game. Aha. Give way. Definitely England. <laughs> I... I know, I know them, I know them strats. We are somewhere, we are somewhere in England. And there's a sign up here. Ah, uh, oh, okay. Eh. Cl Cliffson Rams, Ramsgate. Oh yeah, we're, we're definitely in the United Kingdom. Viking Cross tr Coastal Trail. Okay, so we're somewhere near the coast. Sandwich and Dover. Aha. Sandwich and Dover. That's enough information to go off of. Do, 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 do. As I remember, the cliffs of Dover are... Oh, gosh. Everyone's going to laugh at me. Or... Hmm. Dover and Sandwich. Crap. I believe they're on... The east coast of England. Yes! <laughs> okay. There's Dover. Now we... So, Dover is 18 miles. I believe the UK does distance on the road in miles. They measure in miles per hour for speed, so... I apologize. I keep looking over at my other monitor because that's where my recording is, making sure that... Everything looks okay. Um, okay, so we got Dover. Where the heck is Sandwich? Hello. Sandwich. Where are ya? 
Where are you, Sandvich? Cliffsend, Ramsgate. I feel like these are places. Swinggate, Ring, Ringwood, Ripple, Linden. Well, there's Dover. I need to find. It's Women's Wald. What's <laughs> Elvington, Figglesham? Aha! I found it. There is Sandwich. So we're four kilometers from Sandwich, and 18 from Dover. Uh, here. Go. Ten kilometers. You know what? I'll take it. I will take it. We we did the thing. Oh! 18 kil- Oh, okay, so it doesn't necessarily have to be between them. I get it. Did I enjoy this location? Heck yes, I did. Oh, yeah. Thank you for improving the game. You are most welcome. On to the next round, shall we? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, very, very low quality. Very low quality. I don't, I don't like this at all. All right. What clues do we have? All right. So, it's a crappy looking place. Low quality camera. They drive on the left side of the road. I can't even read. I can't even read the sign. <laughs> I, I have no clue. Let's see. Can we... Oh. Can we determine if... We have European... License plates. It, it doesn't look like it. Oh my goodness. This is like... In the middle of nowhere. Okay. There's a road sign right there. What do we got? <laughs> Copyright Google 2013. What were you thinking, Google? Sending subpar cameras out into the world. Aha! Speed zones are enforceable. Well, that doesn't tell me much. Okay, there's a sign up here. What do we got? What do we got? Oh. Reduce speed. Why? A hundred. Nope. We're in, we're in, um, we're probably in Australia. Yeah, I'm guessing Australia. Somewhere in Australia. I couldn't tell you where. Reason I guess that is because, like I said, in the United Kingdom, miles per hour. They use the red circle symbol, but it's miles per hour, not kilometers. So 100 would be really freaking fast in miles per hour. I think that's kilometers. So based on what I'm seeing around us, well, could it be Canada? I don't know. No, it couldn't be because they're driving on the left side of the road. Yep, we're, we're guessing Australia. Uh, it's, I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess east coast of Australia. I need a clue. Need a clue. What do we got here? Uh, some something ahead. Ah, uh, it's so difficult. <laughs> Look what I have to work with here. Guys pulled over on the side of the road. What the heck is this? Google, Google. You should be ashamed of yourself. Absolutely ashamed. You know, from a distance, I thought this was going to be gold, but this tells me nothing. Guys, this is a clue! Okay, so you'll see that the road has come to a complete end and I can't go any further because for some reason Google started right here. That means nothing. We're we're toast. It's terrible quality images. Dead end. 2013 Google. Well done. Just there's nothing there's nothing here. I'm gonna guess that this is somewhere in blah 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 middle of New South Wales. Done. hey Look at that. How's that for a guess? Hmm? Absolutely no context whatsoever other than left driving the road, <laughs> east coast of Australia based on the geography, and the speed. Well done me, right? Ugh. 
Like I said, geography nerd. Did I enjoy this location? Mm, not really. Ooh, okay. Hmm. This looks very northern hemisphere. Would be Europe or Canada. I see a round sign up ahead, so let's get up here and see what's going on. 70 kilometers per hour for sure. Oh. Is that a cemetery? Definitely not Canada. This is somewhere somewhere in Europe it's very flat could be somewhere in Central Europe but the, the, the colorful graves I'm not sure All right, let's get this from another angle yeah definitely a cemetery of some kind okay very colorful don't you just love how Google dropped me right onto a rural road with no markings whatsoever? I mean, pfft. good grief. Well, we're driving on the right side of the road at least. So that narrows it down to everywhere except the United Kingdom and Ireland. I mean, I gotta hit civilization at some point, right? Aha, we have a sign. Mmm, <laughs> it's in Srillic. Crud, guys. That could be freaking anywhere in Russia, which is the largest nation on Earth. Nope, I'm not even going to bother guessing. I'm going to say it's the Ukraine. Um, I think... Deciduous trees, no conifers. Ah, uh, crap! This is the best I can do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get kind of equidistant to the to the Cyrillic. It's somewhere. It's somewhere in this area. I'm gonna choose right here. Oh! Ah, okay, it was Russia, but a little bit of geography knowledge for you. This little teeny tiny bit here between Lithuania and Poland is actually Russia. And historically, this was part of Prussia, which predated Germany and was the kingdom that stretched from here all the way down around here. Let me zoom out a bit. In Prussia was like this. Most of the northern half of Poland this part of Russia, Germany, was Prussia back back in the day. And uh, Russia got this somehow during warfare, and today it's still Russia, this little piece here. Russia. Kaliningrad. Russia. So, yeah. I, uh, I, I, <sighs> Cyrillic, yes. Eastern half of Russia, yes. But I, I tried the strategic location here because Belarus, Ukraine, Moldova, as far as I know, they all use Cyrillic. So I wanted to get kind of equidistant from everything in case. But you know what? I'll, I'll take it. Did I enjoy this? Yes. Yes. Oh boy. Look at, look at all this stuff. Look at all this great stuff. That serves as landmarks. <laughs> I'll, yeah, nothing you can do except drink and accept your fate. Okay, based on those signs, we're in Europe. Maybe. Hey guys, do you see what I see? Check it out. It's a weird, colorful cemetery. I bet you were kind of in the same place. Oh, look! What do we have here? Da, greetings, comrade! 
You are of Google Great Car, taking a pictures of my land. This is act of war. Great Western Google is great evil. I don't know. <laughs> what the hell was going on on the side of the road here? Like, check this out. Look at all these caterpillar treads. Like, was the was the farmland encroaching on the road and they had to like get it all off? I don't know. Yes, it is perfectly clear now. I have no idea where this is. Guys, unfortunately, I think I have to make the same guess as before. There's a good chance it's gonna be in this little pocket again, but yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll, it, honestly, this whole area is freaking flat. So flat. This entire, this huge area is so flat. So it could really be any of this. And so I'm gonna just take the strategic pick and go right in the middle. Yeah, see? <laughs> Look, looks the same here? Looks the same here. Russia, well, I, I did, yeah, whatever, halfway. Copyright 2016. Hey Google, hey Google, there's no, it's the current year. At least it will be for a little bit longer. There's no reason to have such low quality images. What am I supposed to do with this? Oh my gosh. It's a desert. Looks like somewhere in the United States. Maybe. Crap. Creek. I can read that. Creek. So we're somewhere in the desert. Somewhere in North America. I'm guessing this is United States, just based on Creek being in English. Hey Google, can't see anything thanks to the sun. Were y'all thinking when you drove down this way? Look, look at this. They weren't thinking when they drove down this way at dusk with a low quality camera. I want my money back. I've been trapped on this road for so long that I need to go relieve myself. You guys take care. Have fun staring at the sunset. I'll be back. <laughs> I can feel the anger of this pickup truck behind the Google Earth car. He's maintaining the same distance and I'm not going to show it in the recording because I was just silently clicking the head, but the Google Earth car pulled over in the dirt and <laughs> let the pickup truck go by. Because <laughs> clearly this guy is not happy, right? I guarantee if we keep clicking ahead here, he's just going to maintain. I want to try. Oh, there's no front license plate. See, look. Anger. Anger, anger, anger. He's so angry. I can tell. <laughs> I've clicked ahead quite a bit, and this guy is still back there. Although he is getting kind of farther away, so... <laughs> I guarantee you he's not too happy. Now, here's a question from lowly East Coast Southerner like myself. There's all this sand on the road. Does that pose any sort of driving challenge at all? That's... I'd like to know. I would like to know. Because I keep seeing these piles of sand accumulated on the road surface. Like right here. Does that make driving more difficult at all? That's what I'd like to know. <gasps> Guys! Joyous day! It's a sign, and I can't read it. I can read it. Yes. <laughs> Warner Springs, Oak Grove, T Temecula, and Hammett. I had no idea where any of these godforsaken places are. Well, I guess we better start looking. Oak Grove, Temecula, and Hammett. Could that be in California? American West is so freaking big. I have no idea where any of this stuff could possibly be, and we are far from civilization. Oak Grove, 
Temecula and Hammond. Oak Grove, Temecula, and Hammond. I'll keep looking, and I'll let you know. So the thing is that I know this looks like California near Mexico, but I don't know where any of this stuff is. The other thing, too, is I know that California has a lot of Western English names to places. Check that out. Temecula. Okay, okay, okay. So Temecula is 30 miles that way. Warner Springs is 11 miles that way. We find Warner Springs and we got this. There's Hemet. Hemet is 33. Temecula is 33. So it's equidistant between the two. Dutch Village. Winchester. Come on, reveal yourself. Oh, wait a minute. There's Warner Springs. Okay, hold on. Warner, Warner Springs, 11. Oak Grove. Out here. Gah! 10 miles away. 11 miles. 17.5 kilometers. You know what? I'll take it. You know what? I really enjoyed that. That was difficult. You're not going to see it because I'm going to edit out all the just buffering around the map looking for places, but that took a while. That was good. There we go. Total score, 18,965 on the world on the world map. So, I challenge you guys. See if you can do just as good. See if you can get close to that. I want to see links to screenshots of your scores, all that good stuff. Remember, follow everywhere. Twitter. <laughs> Twitter, Twitch, here on YouTube. You know, the whole nine yards. Ooh, that was fun. If you want to see more of GeoGuessr, let me know in the comments. We'd love to keep doing this, because I love playing it. And I love stretching my geography knowledge. Um... And I want to compete against you guys. The other thing that would be fun is if we uh, added the timer and did, you know, like five minutes. Five minutes maximum on each location. That would be fun. Um, yeah, so let me know. Want to see a timer? Let me know in the comments. Want to see more of this? Let me know in the comments. Leave a comment. All that good stuff. And I'll see you guys hopefully sometime soon rather than six months from now. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Bye-bye.